तब के इम्परफेक्ट नाश इक्विलिब्रियम सो यू आर सींग गेम ट्री है राइट एंड सब गेम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ गेम सब गेम सो देर आर दिस इज वन सब गेम राइट दिस इज वन सब गेम सो देर आर फोर सब गेम्स विद थ्री प्रॉपर सब गेम्स राइट सो देर आर फोर सब गेम्स है there are four sub games let me just give an example uh, what do you mean by a sub game and how do you find out the sub game perfect nash equilibrium in this game so you have there are four sub games one sub game between the actions small p and small q so guys this much you know at this node there is player 1 he has two choices u and d then in case if he chooses u then player 2 comes he has two choices t and d if he choose if player 1 chooses d then again player 2 comes he has two choices n l r if player 2 chooses uh, l then player 1 has two choices again small p and small q and so on and so forth so this much you know from our earlier recording about the extensive form game so here we are going one step further so we're talking about what what are the different sub games that you have so first of all there are this is one sub game this is one part of the game right then sub game between action capital t and capital p sub game between actions l and r right and then whatever is going to win from here whatever is going to win from here there will be the payoff for u and d so this is then that's a complete sub game so basically this this and this they are three proper sub games and then you have one complete game right okay so what do you mean by this so if players are going to play any smaller game uh, that consists of, of only one part of the larger game their behavior would represent the nash equilibrium of that smaller game that's what it is i'll i'll make you understand what do you mean by this so let me write the definition first uh, so please write that if the players played any smaller game any smaller game that consisted of only one part of the larger game of the larger game their behavior would represent would represent nash equilibrium of that smaller game so if you're going to play only this game then we will see what player 1 is going to choose right that will be an equilibrium 
and uh, so if the players are going to play only a smaller game uh, their behavior would represent the nash equilibrium of that smaller game so we'll get the nash equilibrium from here from here from here and then ultimately you will get that equilibrium right that is going to induce nash equilibrium of every sub game right of the original game so that is what the sub game perfect nash equilibrium is so please write this a strategy profile this is very easy you will understand easily just write some definitions a strategy profile is a sub game perfect equilibrium if it represents a nash equilibrium of every sub game of the original game of every sub game of the original game so what do you do uh, so you will find out the sub game perfect nash equilibrium in this way let me just tell you how do you do that i want to copy this again da, 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 da. Mm. This wait, can't just use it here. So you have this. You have this. Acha, one more thing I also want to tell you before telling you the sub game perfect Nash equilibrium. One. How do you write the strategies for the players? How do you write the strategies for the players? So before we go into finding out how do you write the strategies for player one? So player one, if you look at it, you uh, you have these strategies. He is playing here. And he's playing here. So he has this U, D, P, Q. But how do you write it? U, small p, U, small q, D, small p, D, small q. You write it like this, right? You write it like this. So these are U, small p, U, small q, D, small p, D small q, right? So you have to write the strategies at every node for the player. So this is the way you write the strategy for player one. How do you write the strategy set for player two? For player two. For player two, player two is playing here, player two is playing there. So here he has two choices T B, here he has two choices L R. So how do you write T L T R B L B R? You write it like this. T L T R B L and B R. You write your strategies in this fashion. This is what the strategies are, right? Okay, so we'll be using backward induction to get the subgame perfect. Now, very interesting and very easy. Uh, so let me just look at first of all this subgame. Subgame for actions, small p and so small q. Sub game for actions, small p 
and small q. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now player one has to choose between small p and small q. So player one is going to compare this small six and this small four. So he's getting more payoff here. So he'll be choosing action p. Mm -hmm. So how do you write this? Player one. will take action small p right so that payoff for action l becomes six six you understand what I've written? So you look at this sub game, small p and small q, where player one has two choices, small p and small q. So when player one is going to choose, he'll be choosing this one, six over this four. So it means he's going to choose p. Now this game has gone. So now the payoff for action L has become what now? The winning payoff here. The winning payoff here, six, six. Fair enough. Okay. Second, sub game for actions L and R. Sub game for actions L and R. Think about it. Is there another game? So player two has to choose between L and between R. What is the payoff for action L? Six, six. What is the payoff for action R? Two, 12, four. So player two is going to compare this small, this six and four. So player two is going to choose what? This six, it means player two is going to choose L. So player two will take action L. So that payoff for action D becomes six six. Kabeta, payoff for action D becomes six six because the winning payoff here is six six from LNR. Fair enough. Now let's look at the sub game for actions capital D and capital B. So player two has to choose. So player two will be comparing the payoffs to eight and ten four means basically player two is going to compare eight and four. So player two is going to choose this eight. It means player two is going to choose action T. Sub game. Corrections capital T and B. Right. So player two has to choose beta. Player two will be choosing what? Player two is going to compare eight and four. Player two is going to choose eight, means player two is going to choose action T. So the winning payoff is going to be what? Two eight. So winning payoff is 28 means the payoff for action U becomes 28 then. So how do you write this? Player two will take action two. Sorry, will take action T. We'll take action T. So payoff for So payoff for action U becomes what? Uh, 
28. You with me? So payoff for action U becomes 28. And then lastly, you have the sub game between U and D. Player one is going to choose. So player one is going to compare this two and six. Naturally, he'll be compared, he'll be taking up six. It means player one is going to choose D. Right. Sub game. For actions. U and D, right? Sub game for actions, U and D. So basically what you're saying is that now player one is going to take action D. Action D, right? Okay, now there's one more thing. Beta, player one, when he has to choose between small p and small q, he has chosen small p. This is the winning strategy for player one. I've marked it with pink, let's say. Right. Huh? Okay. Then player two has to choose between this small six, uh, sorry, no, this six and four. So player two is going to choose six only. So. I'm marking the winning strategy for player two with green. Fair enough. Then player two has to choose between eight and four. That is between T and B. So of course he's chosen eight. So I'm marking the winning strategy of player two. Right. Then player one has to choose between U and D. So he's comparing two and six. So of course he'll choose six. So I'm marking the winning strategy for player one. So what is the winning strategy? For player one, it is what? D, P, pink. What is the winning strategy for player two? T, L, right? D, P, T, L. This is what your sub game perfect Nash equilibria is. This is what your sub game perfect Nash equilibria is. So you can write it also somewhere. That is sub game perfect Nash equilibria is basically your strategy profile D T T L, right? With the payoff. With the payoff, how much beta? Six six. Hmm? With the payoff six six. So this is the way you find out the sub game perfect Nash equilibrium. Hmm? This is the way you find out the sub game perfect Nash equilibrium. Right beta? Chalo. Thank you.